All right, everyone, back for finally another battle report, not against myself, so this will be a lot uh, more enjoyable for me. On a whole, just glad to get another game in, and especially against Orcs. Orcs have arrived in the channel, and this is really exciting for me as well, because in my entire time of playing 40k, I've been playing since 2012, I have never played against Orcs ever, believe it or not. Um, I think I've played against almost every other faction, except Orcs, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Um... Uh, with the theme of the Tyrants getting a nice boost with the points updates, I've of course brought Kraken Stealer. So it's 2,000 points of uh, Kraken Battalion. And we'll start out with the HQ slot. So we have Swarmlord with Onslaught and uh, Catalyst. The Broodlord with Synaptic Lure. And then my Neurothrope has uh, the Resonance Barb and he has Psychic Scream. Into the Elite slot, we have two Lictors uh, right there. Then we have Five Hive Guard. These guys are actually proxying weapon wise with the um, the shock cannons. I want to give them a go, and I've heard um, some people had success in Kraken, so I'm really interested to see um, how it works. Ten hor uh, not Hormigons, Termagons, just with flesh bores. Uh, Nineteen Gene Stealers there uh, with the four Acid Maws, and then 19 more Gene Stealers with Acid Maws, four of them. Just had to do 19 each one just to fit um, all the um forces in there so then we have tw uh, 20 termagants with devourers then the heavy support slot all the carnifixes are kitted at the exact same regardless of the weapons they have um, they all have uh, double sliding talons and tusks and then we have my barb tier duel uh spending or sorry not spending a cp um yeah i didn't end up spending a cp because i only used one adaptive physiology my neurothrope is the warlord and he has dermic symbiosis so actually starting with 12 cp i thought i spent one there but nope uh, at 12 CP, and that is 2,000 points of Tyranids. All right, everybody, we got 2,000 points of Orcs. I uh, picked some up over the the restriction COVID era, so yeah, I'm normally Salamanders, but we'll see what happens. All right, 2,000 points of Orcs. I'm running that as Death Skulls, meaning I get a six up involve, I get to re roll one wound roll, one. Of attack roll and one damage roll for every unit that has the culture and uh per fighting shooting phase so starting with my hqs i have the warlord the death killer war trike which is a pretty sweet looking model so he's got 14 inch movement um he's also got a couple different weapon profiles he uh the coolest thing about them is that units, uh, vehicle units within six inches at the start of the charge phase can charge even if they advance this turn. So that's pretty sweet. It gives some speed. Another HQ is a big mech with a shock attack gun. Um, and he's got the big mechaniac ability and a grot boiler. Um, the big mechaniac just means he gets to regain... Uh, wounds for vehicles if he's within three inches uh, d3 wounds after every movement phase I um, also have a couple runt herds which have no force organization slot they're just just characters and they're gonna hold my Gretchen in place I got 10 Gretchen um, on each little squad there and they're basically nothing but they're my best weapon skill in the entire army so we'll see what they do uh, going into the other troops, I got a 20-man blob of boys, all uh, with chopper sluggers, uh, except for two which have big shooters, and another 10-man squad of boys uh, with a big shooter and the rest with chopper sluggers. Um, and then I have the mega knobs, which are these boys right here, and they are all rocking double kill saws, real nasty in close quarters. They hope to be, but they're a little bit slow, so I'm probably going to pop them in a transport. Um, and then I got my knobs, two units of five, and they're all chopper sluggers as well. Um, uh, they're a little bit better just because of the wounds, but other than that, they're basically the same. Um, and then my fast attack, I got storm boys, who are at 12 inch movement. I'm going to put them high up in the sky, I think, and drop them down, try to get some points for secondaries. And then to my heavy supports, I have Battle Wagon, which is my main transport. It's got a kill cannon, double big shooters, and also has, uh, yeah, that's all the weapons it has. It's open topped, and it's got grot riggers, and I think it's going to transport this big blob of boys right there. Um, I also have Death Dreads in the back. And they're, I gave them Orchimatic Pistons, so I spent a CP on that, so they get 
three extra inches movement, so nine inches total for the movement. I have kill cans, which are these boys, and all of them have different weapon profiles, so we'll see how well they do. They're grot, so they don't benefit from my clan culture. Um, same as these, these boys, they don't benefit from my involves or the rerolls because they are grots. Um, and then I have over there my Morknot, um, and it is quite quite tough. I think I'm gonna stick my Mega Knobs in there. That'd be a little bit of a transport, but once he gets in close close combat, he's gonna wreck some stuff, I think. And then I got my truck, and it's open topped, and I spent a CP to give it squig hide tires, so it's got two, extra two inches of movement. So it's t 14 inches of movement. And I think it's also gonna transport a squad of boys, maybe my big mech there. All right, so um, also because I'm Dust Skulls, I got the Disazire Zogoff ability, meaning all my infantry units. So that's Mega Knobs, that's Boys, that's Knobs. Uh, they all get the um, objective secured, even if they aren't troops. So, 2,000 points, Orcs. table we're playing on today we are playing the surround and destroy but before we get into the nitty-gritty of the details of the match I want to do a shout out to our patreons uh teos and brian your support means a lot to us and if you want to support the channel and help continue the growth um through adding new content and additional features to it uh check out the link um, below in the video description there's also some cool features you can earn as a patreon such as having the patronic dice right now brian um has a patronic dice but however since uh he is the only one with it right now. We're going to give it to both sides in this match. So each player gets a Patronic Dice. It will capture on camera and see if it makes a big difference uh, in the battle as well. He can also become a name model in the army. The Barbed Hero Duel you saw is Brian. So Brian the Hero Duel is on the table and will capture some cool things. Uh, hopefully he does a bunch. Then uh, we're playing Surround and Destroy from the GT 2021 pack. So excited to get used to the new secondaries. A uh, total of six objectives. Um, Dawn of War deployment, so 10 inches up. Objective here, objective here, here, there, and then one right inside that building. You can see that right through the window there. Um, so that is the table. Everything is obscuring, uh, minus one <laughs> shooting through there. Uh, aside from that, everything is, is obscuring, except that it's just true line of sight blocking this entire thing. Um, uh, and that's it. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right. So, talking about secondaries real quick, I took Engage, Retrieve, <laughs> Octavia's Data, I think that's what it's called, the new Scramblers. I went with Ritual as well, and the Orcs have chosen Engage. Um, the Octavia's Data, I think I'm saying that right, hopefully, and then uh, Grind Them Down. So the secondaries have been chosen. We're going to roll our dice now and find out yeah, who gets the two. Those are your dice? Yeah. All right, so here we go. Six to a five, so Tyrion's get their choice of deployment. We'll come back after deployment's done and then find out who's going first. So we've gone ahead and deployed. Tyrion's chose yeah. this side. <laughs> uh, Gene Stiller's over here. Uh, yeah. Regular Flesh Borer guys right here holding the objective. Um, Devour guys here. Uh, Gene Stiller's here. I'm just going to push this side, I think. See what happens. Honestly, I just <laughs> just have a big mishmash of combat here. It's going to be fun. Neurothrope over here keeping the synapse uh, more or less alive on that side for the most part. Barbecue Dylan here. Um, I chose this side because he had lanes this way and this way. On that side, I would have had to shoot the, through the terrain, so... Um, that's why we're over here. Shock um, guard by the Swarm Lord and Brood Lord. Um, okay. <laughs> three kind of effects on this side, just holding down that side of the table for now until I need to maneuver over. On the orc side, we have um, Grots right here on this objective with knobs, uh, killer cans, shock attack um, fella inside there with uh, 10 boys inside the truck. Um, am I, yes, there is someone there. Are those knobs? Yes, knobs there. Um, Death Dreads there, along with the uh, Gorkonaut, Mor Morkonaut, um, with the Mega Knobs inside. Uh, war Boss, that's War Boss, right? Yeah. Yes, War Boss, <laughs> effectively War Boss. Uh, Grotz there, and then the um, Storm Boys and the uh, truck or the battle wagons teleporting in with a twenty boys. So we're gonna find who's going first in our return battle report after too long of a game. Five to five. Mm -hmm. A two to a five. Orcs get the first turn, and my 
Losing streak of first turn continues unless I play against myself. So we'll come back after Orcs, turn one movement. All right, so that is movement done for the Orcs. The Grots have um, retrieved a Servo Skull for this table quarter here. Um, the knobs move forward uh, with the Killicans advancing along with the truck driving up with the knobs up here coming along. The uh, war boss drove over this way with the um, Death Dreads moving over here. The um, Morkanaut, right? Morkanaut, yes, I'll remember now. Um, moved over this way, the, the Grots just holding that objective. Um, and that's pretty much it for movement. So I think just a bit of shooting to come and then that's really it for the term. I don't think any charges are going to go down, at least for this turn, but we'll come back after the shooting and so see that is orc shooting done. So not too much happening, um, obviously due to orc ballistic skill and uh, kind of positioning. So I think it was a gene sealer killed from here. Just these guys just at a range with some of the shooters, um, but killing off them. Nothing done to the barbed here duel. Uh, with the shock attack gun only getting um, strength five. Over here, Carnifex dropped down to three wounds from the uh, custom Mega Zappa, I think it is. Mega Blasta, not the Zappa. So, yes, um, so that's pretty much the end of the turn. So, um, I think I mentioned it earlier. These guys had um, retrieved the Service Skull in that corner, and that is it. So, no points scored as of yet, but we're about to move into turn one for the Tyranids. And I don't think I mentioned at the start, it is hold one and hold two for the objectives. Uh, so, the Orcs right now hold one, two, uh, not holding that one. So, three objectives for the Orcs to two for the Tyranids, but I'm pretty confident I can turn that around maybe. But we'll see what happens in Tyranids turn one coming up. So upping to 13 command points. We'll take a look at movement after. <laughs> so movement is done. Uh, these Tyranids um, grabbed a Servo Skull from the this cable quarter, so it is done for the Tyranids. Uh, I'm still holding that objective. I made sure that nothing can appear back here with that teleporters these guys got a nice uh, they did their double moves kraken strat arrived up here getting a six on the advance roll these guys moved up to get enough in range of the knobs and potentially the truck we'll see gene sealers obviously coming forward um moved in advance the hive guard because i'm going to have to onslaught them to um be able to shoot uh full ballistic skill after advancing at the killer cans had to advance them to get all of them in range and line of sight broodlord came over this way he's within six of swarm one so he'll get slingshotted up in front of the gene stealers and give some support to them. Carnifexes, um, they're just gonna be roadblocks, I guess, both of them holding objective. I overdrive this guy, he's got three wounds, he's not gonna do anything. I need, I think, an eight inch charge to even make it in. So I overdrived him, get some engage points um, started. But that is movement done for the Tyranids. Oh, and the Barb here will just, he position himself just backwards. Um, he still, still has line of sight through here to shoot at the truck or the um, Death Dreads. Yes. All right, so that is movement done. Uh, we'll come back after psychic and shooting. And see what right, everyone. Like. So here's what's going on for shooting. So the um, I didn't get onslaught off. On, oh, actually, sorry, we'll start here with psychic powers because a bit of a story here. Got super smite off with the neurothrope on the truck, rolled a single wound, then did a, uh, another wound, a single wound with psychic scream, so dropped him down to eight. Um, didn't get smite off with the brew lord. The hive, or sorry, the um, swarm lord tried to um, over, uh, sorry, onslaught these guys so they could shoot a full ballistic skill having advanced uh failed that even with the reroll. then he catalysted these gene steals which was successful uh bird lord moved up with swarm lord these guys fired in uh even with that minus one ballistic skill took out all but one of those guys down to four um barb here dual shot this guy with pathogenic slime dropping him down to one wound um so really unfortunate there thanks to their ability that on a six they drop the damage characteristic down to whatever it is to one then these guys fired in four were only in range of the truck the rest of them could shoot the knobs so that hasn't happened yet but shot the shot the truck the truck is down to one wound i uh, got four wounds through passed all but one save and he's going to re-roll it on camera this is what was a big build up here with a patronic dice so brian here's your patronic dice on the orc side four up four up or else that truck is oh what is it was it oh, no oh, patronic power does the truck blow up while you yes do this yeah the patronic power will allow that oh. no so the truck does not blow up the guys are coming out and that's what the gene sealers want so that's it i'm going to finish up the rest of my shooting we'll come back i got a lot of dice to roll right here right, so that ends tyranny shooting so i did double tap with the um or sorry uh, not double tap um I, or sorry i double tap with these guys and they um 
completely unstatistical. Blew up a Death Dread um, with their shooting, even with that minus one. It was wild. It got five hits through, and then rolled uh, four fives and a six, doing a total of seven mortals, uh, and then failed to save, and it died. And blew up, and then did a mortal on each side. So, Hive Guard with the Shock Attack. Quite impressed so far. Um, I mean, not every game you're going to face vehicles all the time, but when they do, they seem to be the way to go. And drop that knob unit down to a single guy, and that's it. And then with the truck gone, uh, you lost two guys, I think, there. Uh, so Charger's about to get out, obviously the Broodlord, all these Steelers are going in there. And same for over there, so there's going to be a ton of dice to go through, and I think that's all the Chargers. So we'll come back after that and see what it looks like. Right, so that ends the turn. So Gene Steelers in here, uh, actually start with over here. Uh, the Broodlord, or sorry, these guys fought first, the Gene Steelers killed them all. The Broodlord just um, stayed where he was. The Gene Steelers um, consolidated around towards that little fella there. Um, the Gene Steelers just protecting the um, Broodlord from anything coming in to charge him. Then over this way, the genes, uh, he interrupted, killed four? Yeah, four gene stealers. I had 10 saves to make, and made six of them on a five ups wild. Then they overran just to get back over here. Um, between these two guys, the truck, the only spot coming over here is right back in his deployment, which I'm okay with. Uh, and that's it. So scoring three points for engage, got this quarter done for a retrieve. And ritual hasn't been started yet, but that's okay. I'm just getting positioned with the Neurothrope. Uh, should have enough bodies in there to run three turns with him, but we'll see. So coming into Orcs turn two. So that is the end of movement for the Orcs. Scoring 10 for primaries, yes, yeah. And then um, this guy teleported in at the end of the movement phase. Um, over this way, uh, the Killican moved forward with the shock attack dude just lurking about there. The war boss came forward. The knobs, um, he passed morale, so he's doing well. So hanging there. Death Dread came forward uh, within six of the war, or, um, uh, war boss to advance and still charge. So look out, Hive Guard. If you don't make that, that's that's a big one. Uh, the uh, Morkanot came forward, uh, letting his knobs come out. So is he going to go for the distraction card effects or not? We'll see. Uh, and then these guys scrambled that quarter. Octavius. I think that's what it's called. They retrieved it. That's the new thing, not scramble. So that's it for the movement. We'll come back after the bit of shooting to go down and see if they can do the damage that needs to be done. Tyranny's in control right now, but now it's time for the orcs to see what they shooting can do. Shooting done for the orcs. So uh, the tank um, fired in at these gene stealers. Um, everyone there all fired at the gene stealers, except for the shock attack gun shot at Swarmlord. But we'll talk about that in a second. I lost a total of five gene stealers um, between everything there. Uh, he even flamed in and uh, got fortunate there as well. Um, Swarmlord got hit by the shock attack gun, but only rolled strength three um, with the five shots. Nothing happened. Uh, Hero Duel took uh, five wounds from the Zappa, custom Mega Zappa from him. Uh, these guys threw grenades at the Carnifex, but nothing happened. And that's the end of the shooting phase. So we got some charges to go down. So we're going to capture, I think, a couple of them, because if this dude doesn't make this charge against the Hive Guard, that is going to be incredibly brutal for... Five inch charge. He rolled three, six, seven, um, something. I don't so. Oh no, that's for your I boss, isn't it? Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. So five, you say on yep. the dice, and then the these guys. What are they doing as well? We'll just and we'll just get the measurements done. So they're gonna go for that distraction card effects. Six inch charge there. So where do you want to start? You have six CP left. Start here. here, so oh, if you don't make this, it is bad news. He's good, and then. Over there. Uh, six, yes. You were seven. Yeah, seven inches away. Mm -hmm. No, do you want to CP that or do you want to just you know, drop down to five? Oh, come on, Carnifex. You're over there just living life good. Ah. <laughs> Carnifex is good, but however, the poor Hive Guard are going to um, get attacked. So, there we go. And then, there, yeah, we'll, we'll come back after that. So, there's some charges going down there, but that's going to be a whole mess. So, we'll come back after the fighting goes down. If anything major happens. Oh, All right, so that ends the turn. So you wiped out a unit in the end. Uh, that Death Dread just went to town and just absolutely massacred these guys. However, over this way, um, the war boss fought first, killed off, I think, uh, four, no, only two Gene Slayers or something like that. He, yeah, he killed two of them. I interrupted, fought back, killed off the Killican. Then the Broodlord took two wins for the knob, and then he quickly cut the knob down. 
Um, then my poor hog guy didn't get to do anything. But that was the end of the turns. Uh, this quarter is done for the orc, so this side of the table is completed. Now he has to retrieve in my end down there, getting two points for engage as well. These um, knobs are wholly within this quarter. Uh, and that ends the turn for the orc. So we're going to come to Tyranid's turn two now and see what happens. So getting another CP, uh, I'm at five. He is at four for CP. So we'll see what it looks like. Some movement is done. So the uh, Broodlord moved back. Just want that uh, Death Dread to get hit by Smites. There's only seven wounds, so I should be able to should be able to take him out. Um, Gene Steelers disengaged from him, so that way I can uh, shoot in with the um, the Gaunts. Just I chip him away and then charge in with the Gene Steelers. Should be able to take him out. Big should. Uh, these guys are just they're there. Uh, Gene Steelers came forward. Um, they're going to charge them in there. Just move them quickly. So. They're up in the, the face there. Elector came back to grab this objective. Um, I did score 10 for primaries, didn't um, max out or anything like that. Two current effects just came forward. They're gonna, they're gonna battle it with those boys. Um, so Elector's holding that scrambled this quarter. So this quarter and my own quarter are done. So we're both on the same page for that. Uh, and that current effects is coming around to deal with those guys. So he's just romping around, distraction current effects. Uh, that's it for moving. We're gonna come into the uh, charge phase now or sorry not charge phase, psychic phase all right so uh the neurothrope kind of did his job um he took off two wounds in total with um smite and psychic scream uh dropping him down to five and then the brood lord did two more if i recall correctly or, no i mixed up on that he um the uh, he failed his smite and then the, he did um four wounds altogether between psychic scream and smiting i did have to spend a cp there I smite it with the Swarm Lord. It went off. Um, what we're going to do now is um, capture a Patronic Dice Roll. Brian, see if you can fare well for me. Uh, I need a 5 or a 6, and that Death Dread is gonzo. Here we go. Patronic Dice, power. No, well, could have been worse. So, two wounds, down to one. Ah, so now there's going to be some shots. But we'll come so back. So shooting is all done. Um, these guys split fired at the Killican and the War Boss, who is now gone. Both are gone. Um, split firing, killed him. Dropped the war boss down to three wounds. Spent my very last two CP to fire again with these guys. I just wanted to get him off the table. Then I can charge in there, and he's kind of free-ish. Um, then over here, Swarm, he's about right up against there. Um, Barb Hero Duel is about to charge. I dropped him down to seven wounds with some really solid shooting from the Barb Hero Duel. Um, and then he spent a CP to try and uh, get a reroll on the saves, but didn't make it so down to three. Barb Hero Duel is coming in now. So charge coming up right here. Let's go. It's a five on the dice. That's a five. He's in. <laughs> oh. However, uh, in saying that, it does make um I'm just gonna already measured that. It does make swarm loads charge. He has to go all the way around, but I'm gonna roll it up anyway. Oh, that might make it. So we'll measure that up in a second, and then these guys are both uh obviously unless I think it rolled double one with that guy. But that was a nine for the swarm lord. He's good. And the other guy's already in. So there we go. So we'll come back after that. I'm going to double check. Well, that ends Tyranid's turn. So over this way, these guys killed off the uh, big mech. And then these gene stillers over here uh, surrounded the uh, grots with the 11 inch charge, killed them, and then um, consoli or, uh, consolidated. I, I positioned the enough that uh, I could engage this guy and still stay an inch away. So he can't, he can't even um, get away from them. So they'll be locked in combat there, which is great, um, keeping them from getting attacked by that. And then over this way, the Carnifex, <laughs> he made his charge, killed off the guy, and then the Grots actually did a wound on him. So they're kind of just slugging at one another. And then over here, um, Brian, the hero duel, completely whiffed, missed all of his, his attacks, even with the reroll, and then just got um, punched in the face by this guy dealing five wounds. Yes, five wounds, putting him at a total of eight. Mega Knobs interrupted combat after the hero duel whiffed, killed off one of my Carnifexes, and then this Carnifex rolled incredibly well and took out all three of them. So good job there, Carnifex. Uh, and that's it for the turn, scoring three, unengage. Uh, my side is done for the retrieval. And I haven't started ritual yet, but I'm in position now to start racking that up and get um, these guys surrounding the Neurothrope and get him in the middle and collect some points there. So that's it for Tyranid's turn two. Uh, time for Orc's turn three. So uh, that's movement and shooting done for the orcs in turn three. We just kind of rolled through it quick. There wasn't a whole lot of moving, except these guys disembarked uh, and the battle wagon moved over this way. 
Um, these guys all shot into the gene stealers. Just some poor rolling between all these guys, or sorry, the, those orcs not killing any gene stealers. Uh, the truck killed off um, six gaunts altogether, I believe it is. And then the uh, hero duel with his five up in ball withstood all the firing from him falling back, but he's about to charge, and I think that'll um, swing it around. And then the Grot's still in combat there, or just. Did it'll be oh, yeah, they did wound him. <laughs> so he's at the two. Um, but that is it. Oh, uh, yes, the Storm Boys dropped in over here. So they came down, shot at him, but they'll be doing some charging and whatnot here shortly. But that's it. We'll come back after some charges about to go down over here and then see if the Hero Duel can survive. So that's the end of the turn. Um, Brian, the Hero Duel, just got destroyed, so he is gone. He quite um, easily killed him, still holding the objective as well. After that charge is done, these boys came flying in, chopped the gene stealers to bits, so they're gone, getting two kill points on the table for grinding them down, so I have to get at least um, two kills to deny that. And then I didn't actually kill this guy. Um, with the gene stealers, he has one wound left, and then I put some attacks into the truck and dropped it uh, one wound. So uh, that ends the turn. Uh, orcs scoring nothing for engage yet, but in position to get some models over, depending on how this next turn goes. Grind them down has a little bit on the table. And uh, nothing for retrieve, but at least four points scored for that, I believe it is, for two table quarters. So Tyranids, turn three. So we're going to call the game there. We played out just uh, a little bit of the Tyranids turn. So it took out the Morknot with the Psychic Powers between the Neurothrope and the Swarm Lord. And then very quickly we did the charge there, killing those two guys. And I mean, making the charge um, prevented him from getting any points possible for... Um, retrieve um at least for the rest of the game then we didn't even shoot with these guys um at them so it would have been a lot of casualties to that so we felt comfortable to call it there it was a good game great to see the orcs um on the channel new army so very exciting um always refreshing playing against a, a new force and when people get to play a new army it's great as well um so on a whole we were talking about uh changes that um would have done so Potentially keeping the truck on the table, I think, would have been the better play. Uh, it would have been harder to take him out. I definitely would have had to focus my shock attack, or not shock attack, my shock um, cannons. Yeah, that's what they're called. On that truck, I would have had to kill that rather than the kill cans. But even still, I think the kill cans were kind of, it was easy to kind of kite away from them and pick targets with the gene stealers. Not having anything to like take out the gene stealers fast, I think, was hard with their speed being able to like zip around and then that squad just harass that corner. Um, then we're also saying too, the, the shock cannons, I rolled incredibly, um, unstatistical in a good way for me. I'm um, shooting at that death grid, uh, early on and one shotting him with the double tap. So just some good dice, um, for the Tyranids a little bit, um, with uh, a few weapons that made a big difference. The Morkonaut definitely did tons of damage, um, coming in and taking them out. And the Carnifex is living over here and those guys failing that very short charge would have actually made a huge difference as well. So just a few small key moments, the orcs. Uh, looks like it was really bad for them, but just like tiny moments like that really impacted the overall game and the flow of everything. But on a whole, definitely a very good match. Very excited to see the Orcs back for another uh, match. And uh, stay tuned for lots more to come with uh, restrictions being lifted and everyone being able to get back together. And as well, again, if you enjoyed watching the, the kind of the Patreon moments and you want to get involved, be sure to check uh, out our Patreon page. And uh, there's a few different tiers there with uh, some ex uh, exciting and fun ways to joining on the bat reps in a way, becoming a name model or getting that Patronic dice roll and seeing if you make the difference or if you don't, uh, which in a couple of cases here, but it's hilarious either way and we always capture those moments. Um, unfortunately, Brian, the hero duel, did really good at shooting, but he is not meant to get up close and personal and I will keep that in mind next time he tries to charge forward. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.